Hey guys, it's Rob with your Pro Tip today. Um, we're gonna answer a long-standing question. Um, it's a simple question, but the answer can be actually a little bit more complex than we think, which is, how often do I clean my guns? And in the Canadian Firearm Safety course, I get asked that question, well, every class. So, <laughs> that's a valid one. So the complex answer is we need to look at the look at the uh, a little bit of background here. So there's two types of cleaning when it comes to firearms. There's something called a field strip or there's something called a detailed strip. So a field strip is basically we're, I'll demonstrate on this. I've got a, a semi-automatic handgun. A field strip basically is make sure this thing's not loaded, which of course it wouldn't be here, but always double check. A field strip is when I take the major components. So in the case of a semi-automatic uh, handgun is usually four parts, right? You got the grip in the frame here, you got the recoil spring, the barrel, and the slide. So basically, the field strip is I take those components apart, I clean the slide, I clean the barrel, and I clean the grip in the frame. Just kind of brush around in there a little bit, wipe it out with the patch, and reassemble it and function test it, and that is a field strip. Or there's a detail strip. Now, the detail strip is when I disassemble the slide completely, I pull the firing pin, I get the springs out of there, I pull the extractor, everything polish all of those parts, you know, when it comes to the grip and the frame, everything. Um, I polish all those parts and then reassemble the whole gun as if it were brand new. I put it all back together, I function test it, and that's called a detail strip. So when it comes to cleaning guns, we'll get back to that, is there's, it depends on the gun, it depends on what you use it for, and it also depends on how many rounds you're putting through it. So if we talk about like how many Trips to the range, well, I don't know. Do you shoot 1,000 rounds when you go to the range? Or do you shoot, uh, you know, 150 rounds or 60 rounds when you go to the range? So basically, it's how, how much ammunition are you putting, in, putting through this thing? It also depends on the gun, because some firearms will be malfunctioning right off the hop, you know, the minute that you put 200 rounds through it. Some firearms, like, you know, I'm not getting anything from Glock for this. That's got to change, got to get on some kind of um, uh, referral program. But Glock, I just, I mean, this is my favorite handgun. It just runs and runs and runs, and it'll run dirty, it'll run underwater, it runs all that, all the time. It runs like that, and that's one of the reasons why I own them. Other firearms, um, at the minute they get a little bit dirty, that's it. They won't function, they'll start to malfunction. Uh, typically, manually operated firearms, like a pump action shotgun or a lever action, uh, or a bolt action, they can run a little dirtier because you're the one that's actually cycling the action. And if you have to put your back into it a little bit, you can do that. Semi-autos, a little bit different. They're always relying on just the gas, whether it's a direct blowback or they're actually cycling gas through the action to, 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 uh, to cycle the thing. So semi-autos, you probably have to clean them a little bit more often. Manually operated, maybe not so often. And also, it depends what you have the gun for. So I have guns that are just toys that I would take to the range, shoot or whatever. Yeah, you know what? I probably wouldn't clean them until they started to malfunction. And that's okay. I have other guns that I need to be able to bet my life that they will fire when I pull the trigger. So let's say it's a semi-automatic shotgun that I'm using for predator defense when I'm out in the bush someplace. Yeah, I probably want to make sure that, uh, that that thing functions and that I've cleaned it every time. So if I had a gun and I really needed that thing to, to shoot no matter what, Personally, and it may seem extreme to some people, I would probably detail strip it every time that I took it out shooting and shot, you know, a few, quite a few rounds, like detail strip. So detail stripping, let's say a, a Glock like this, the first time I did it, it took about an hour and a half because I was watching step by step through a, a YouTube video, which is a great tool for gun owners. Um, now I can detail strip uh, one of these things probably 10 or 15 minutes and it's reassembled and it's like a brand new gun every single time. So practice makes perfect when it comes to cleaning guns. It won't be so much of a chore when you get, get used to it. And again, it depends on the gun, depends how much you're using it, and it depends primarily what you're using it for. So hopefully that helps. That's your pro tip for today. We'll see you soon.